Peshawar's biggest graveyard is running out of space. Many of the nearly 150 people killed in Tuesday's massacre are now buried here. Among them, the 29-year-old Urdu teacher, Sahar Afshan, who was killed while trying to save her students. She was a natural leader and a brave woman who took great pride in her teaching, her family tells me. When she saw that uh, the terrorists are approaching, so she tried to stop uh, them as well. And she tried to resist uh, as well. But she was uh, shot on a point blank on, on right uh, forehead. Who do you think committed this atrocity? They are uh, enemies of Pakistan. Do you believe Taliban did this? Whoever did, they are not human beings actually. They may be Taliban, they may be anyone. The mass murder of so many children has sent shockwaves across this conservative Muslim country. Those previously afraid of speaking out against the Taliban are finding the courage to demand tough action against the militants. After Friday prayers, this crowd told us they want the military to go after the Taliban. The people want to be a freedom of these animals, whatever they are doing in, in, the, in the Pakistan, in the Wagha border, in the Peshawar, in Waziristan. Why? Why they are destroying the Pakistan? You are saying so. the people want to see the government take action against Taliban? Yeah, sure. That a Muslim is doing for the Kafir. It is not Muslim. So what we've been hearing here is these people are very outspoken against Taliban. They want to see strong action. Now this is a change in public attitude. For a long time, people did not take Taliban's name. They talked about enemies of Pakistan. They talked about militants. But increasingly, we are seeing more and more people having the courage to name names and they want action against Taliban militants.